Attorneys for several members of the Penn State fraternity where Timothy Piazza died are now pushing back. More than 100 new charges were filed in connection with the 19-year-old's death. Lisa Washington has the latest. Shortly after the announcement that deleted video from a security camera in the basement of the Beta Theta Pi fraternity house had been recovered, Center County District Attorney Stacy Parks Miller also announced that charges would be filed against 12 more Penn State fraternity members. Brothers were coming up to him and giving him those drinks. 26 students now face charges ranging from felonies to misdemeanors following the February death of Tim Piazza, who prosecutors say was hazed. An attorney for one of the accused fraternity members says the charges came as a surprise. These charges came out of the blue. I fought this case all summer, two days here, three days there, 62-hour preliminary hearing, case was thrown out, and a lame duck DA doubles down as she's on her way out the door and charges 12 new Frat brothers. District Attorney Miller lost her most recent bid for re-election and will finish her term at the end of the year. Another attorney said he hopes the next Center County DA will re-examine the charges Miller filed. She reinstated charges against some of the frat members whose cases had been dropped and added more counts to those previously charged. We're not happy about this. We're going to put the gloves back on and we'll go out there and fight it again and uh, you know hopefully successfully defend it again. My aggressive approach to defending my client is not meant is any disrespect to the decedent or his family. I pray for that young man every day. So does the M's family. Sometimes tragedies occur. It doesn't mean criminality occurred to go along with them. The students charged Monday are due in court later this month. Lisa Washington, KDKA TV News.